I was going through my phone and I found some old footage of the first dewatering well project we did. Um, so what a dewatering well is, is when the water level in the ground is very high. Um, so it's only two or three, four foot below ground level. You can't do construction work. That's primarily what this is for. So they needed to put in a pump station. So it, it was, I think like 10 foot deep. Um, the water level was like four or five foot. So they needed us to drill, um, four wells on all four corners of where this pump station was going to go in the ground so they could pump water out and lower that water level in that area. So if this is the area, um, say this is where the pump station was going to go. So they picked, um, four spots in each corner where we would drill a hole. So when you do that, um, say this is ground level up here and you drill down. And then you drill another one. We'll say that this is hole one and this is hole two. So this hole one, this hole two. Drill down and we would drill 40 feet, um, 22 inch, 22 inch hole, 40 foot deep, 40 foot deep. Then we would come back, once we drilled down, we would come back and put uh, case 16 inch casing, 30 feet by 16 inch. So when you do this, you're needing to get down, if this is 30 foot, you need to get down 10 foot to dig this hole to put this pump station in. Water level originally was somewhere in here. Um, so when they couldn't dig. If they dig, dug a hole here, it would fill full of water and then you can't pour concrete in there, you can't do anything. So we drill these holes and put pumps in them and then instead of water being here this water is now flowing getting sucked into the pump and getting pumped out away from this property um so now the water is sucked down to to a cone oh that was a bad bad angle there so from this one and this one and they would meet in this cone here and water this would now have no water anywhere in here which when you do this cone in this area you would well that's a that's a bad drawing too but each one of these four have this huge area of water sucked out that it cones down, sucks the water down. So now this water level here, let's say it's 15 foot and they need to come down 12 foot. So you have three foot of dry soil below where you need to dig and it allows you to um, do the construction work, backfill, you know, get everything set properly and then finish the project. And then when you're done, you shut the pumps off, pull them out pull the casing out and then we um, abandon the wells. So we put fill them full of two state specs. Every state's a little different, but uh, you know, grout it closed, bentonite it closed, cement it closed, whatever the state specs are. Um, that way there's no contaminants. Um, Cause once we drill this hole, it's usually backfilled with gravel, um, gravel packed with, bigger gravel, um, so contaminants, oil, whatever, um, could easily flow down this hole and get into the groundwater and contaminate the groundwater. So that's why we have to abandon wells properly to stay specs.
So in this video, we start out by mixing mud. So we're running straight rotary. When we're drilling this big of a hole, we mix a lot of quick gel in our water. So quick gel changes the viscosity of the water to make, it'll literally make rocks and stuff float. So when we're drilling, as it a bit cuts through the formation, those cuttings float up but since we're usually in these scenarios where water's that high, um, it's typically been sand or gravel. So to try to get that gravel to float up those rocks and stuff, we have to mix mud extremely thick. So here we are mixing mud. Um, as you can see, it's very thick. Um, I think we probably 20 bags roughly per hole is what we were using. Um, so, As we drill down, we get to the bottom. We go 40 foot, but we're only putting 30 foot of um, casing in. That is because once we get to bottom, we shut the turntable off so it's not drilling anymore in a circle. It's uh, just flushing with the, the mud circulating. Um, we do that for all three, four, five minutes at bottom. Try to get as many of those rocks and sand out of there as possible and then we trip out as fast as we can. So we pull the first piece of stem, um, or well, I guess the first piece of the Kelly. So we pull the, the Kelly up, unhook it, set it back, then hook on the pipe and pull it up, unhook from the bit, throw the piece of stem around the side, and we grab the casing as fast as we can and try to get it down hole. Um, because as soon as we shut that mud pump off and start pulling out, all that sand and gravel that's still in this hole that we couldn't get out is gonna start to settle. Um, it usually goes somewhat slow, so if we can pull out and set casing quick, we can usually beat some of that and make sure we get the casing all the way down. Um, if you mix mud right and you can get it cleaned out pretty good, then it's not that big of an issue. But usually in that sand, um, it's been, we almost can't mix mud quick enough or thick enough to, to really get some of those big rocks to float out. Um, but that's why you can see in this video we're, we're hustling big time. Uh, and that's my dad in the video, so 55 year old's hustling. But um, yeah, once we pull out, set casing, um, then we gravel pack. We usually use half inch to one inch, of course, road gravel. Um, gravel packet and then we come back in and set the pumps and start pumping them and they'll pump for probably a week to 10 days before they start digging um, to make sure you get you know all this dirt dries out um, and then you, you do the project and then they shut the pumps off and pull the pump out pull the casing out and backfill and then you are uh, or backfill properly. Then you are done. That that is a dewatering wall.